Welcome to my lecture online. Here I have my red pen ready to look for the common denominators, and not the common denominators, but all the denominators in the numerator and the denominator to find the lowest common denominator. And so I have x cubed, x squared, x squared, and x cubed, which means in this case the LCD is going to be x cubed, the largest of the denominators. So that means I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by x cubed. And so what do we get? Well, first of all, when I multiply x cubed times 4 over x cubed, the x cubes cancel out, and I'm left with the 4. Plus, here, x cubed divided by x squared is x. x times 16 gives me 16x divided by. So now, multiplying x cubed divided by x squared, well, that gives me x times 20 gives me 20x minus x cubes cancel out minus 36. All right, having done that, notice that we can probably factor something out of the numerator and the denominator. Surely, I can factor out a 4 out of the numerator, and I'm left with a 1 plus 4x. And in the denominator, I can factor out also a 4, so that gives me 4 times 5x minus 9. And so the 4s cancel out, and I'm left with 1 plus 4x divided by 5x minus 9 as the final reduced form of that original complex fraction. And that is how it's done.